What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Pure on the Seto Corsa. A lot of people don't know what Pure is. I didn't know what Pure was a few days back. Um, Pure is the reason why this game looks super realistic. It changes the way the cars look, the sky, all the weathers, along with rain and traffic and uh, road surface. Alright, let's get into it. Let's start with Content Manager. You should already have Content Manager installed if you play Assetto Corsa and custom shaders patch installed. If you guys don't have that, I will teach you guys how to do it. All right, let's go install content manager. So we're gonna go to our Google Chrome and type in content manager on the search and it will be the first link here. Keep scrolling down and it will say downloads, direct download, um, that's what I selected. Um, if you guys wanna do it from GitHub or Backblaze V2. I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> um, so do direct download, click on that, and it'll start installing to your top right over here. Um, that's where it will be. Open up folder, click on that, and click on content manager, and that will install content manager. I'm not going to do it, I already have it. Uh, so go ahead and do that. All right, so once you have content manager installed, what you guys are going to do is go to settings. So it will probably put you over here. Uh, go to settings, um, custom shaders patch, and you guys will probably uh, see a different screen. It should say uh, install custom shaders patch. All right, so after you guys installed content manager and you guys got custom shaders patch installed, what you guys are going to do is go to your content manager. And what we're going to do is confirm our version for content manager. So for me, what do you, what you do is go to about, and then it should be right here, right under more information. Our version is 0.8.26. All right. So if you guys have anything different, it may or may not work for you guys for 0.8.26. It works. All right. The next step is to install pure. So what you guys are going to do is go to your browser and look for the Patreon page for Peter Bowles. All right. Now this is a dollar a month. And what a lot of people do is pay $1 for one month and get pure and, and cancel their sub. Um, honestly, $12 a year, it's not too bad for me. Once you guys are here, you guys can scroll down or hit control F, look up pure and then hit enter until you see this so pure 0 0.238 now a lot of people get confused on trying to find the download button it does get pretty confusing you just scroll down it show more and just keep going down now there's two available downloads um there's the high res and then there's the low res so if you guys have a, a good graphics card get the high res if you guys don't know or not sure just just get the low res um, once you guys are here, you guys are going to hit um, any one of these. So you could do it through Mediafire. You could do it through uh, 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 Mega. Once you guys are here, hit download. Uh, get that download going. It should show up here. And let's see here. It should be right here. All right. So once you guys have downloaded Pure, um, open up the file location and it should show up in your folder. So once you guys have it here, go ahead and remove it from the folder and put it onto your desktop. Now, the reason why I do this is because if you try to open it in the folder, it will not show you all the folders. It won't show you all the files. Once you've extracted it and put it onto your desktop, it will show you some folders that you guys need uh, for the next process. Now, once you guys got it on your desktop, go ahead and create a new folder and you guys can name it. If you guys like throw the uh, pure file into the new folder. Once you guys have it in the folder, go ahead and right click extract here and let that do its thing. All right. So once you guys have extracted the file in the folder that we put it in, uh, you guys are going to go to pure. And this is the confusing part. A lot of people, I got confused here. A lot of people do, but it's actually pretty simple. Now, if you guys have soul, we're going to have to remove soul before we install pure now with this one with um with this uh mod here when you install pure it comes with soul if that makes any sense 
Um, so if you guys do have Soul, we're going to have to select this one, uninstall Soul, and install Pure. Now, if you guys don't have Soul, install Pure and discontinue. So let's say, for example, I have Soul and I want to get rid of it and install Pure. So you're going to double click on that. And you guys want to find your root folder. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to find your root folder. You go to Steam. You go to Settle Corsa. Right click properties, installed files, and then browse. For some reason, mine did not pop up, but it's right here. <clears throat> so this is what, what, what it looks like. So mine's in this PC, local disk, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and a set of Corsa. All right, so that's where mine's is. Once we come back here, go to your root directory for a set of Corsa which mine's in, uh, let's see here, local disk, program files, Steam, and then Steam apps, and common. There you go. Aceto course is right there. So once you guys are here, press OK. Once you guys hit OK, it's going to ask you if you do have Soul, uh, are you sure you want to delete it? And you want to hit yes and it'll start it'll, it'll delete soul and then install pure now if you don't have soul then obviously you guys would be doing install pure only and you find a root folder and hit yes all right so once you've installed pure you want to go to your content manager you want to go to your settings weather effects and weather style so you should see this option here pure go ahead and click that and once you've done that you want to go to your reflections fx and make sure under general cube map reflections everything is selected so you got one two three four five all five of these things should be selected so then what you want to do is go to settings go to content manager and make sure that auto updates is disabled because if it updates, a lot of your mods may not work. So I keep this on disabled. I would highly advise you guys to set it to disabled. So you got your content manager, your custom shaders patch, and your pure mod installed. The next thing we're gonna do is install our preview version. So I will leave all the links in the description below. Um, it's another Patreon page. I did forget to mention that this is also a dollars. Um, once you guys are here, hit control F. You're going to enter 0 0.2.3, hit enter. And there it is. Once you guys are here, click on that. It should start downloading on your top right. All right. Once you guys have that downloaded, I already have it right here. Open up file location, minimize this, open up your content manager, get your folder popped up drag and drop this file onto your content manager close that out and it should show up on the top right over here as you guys can see lights patch 0 0.2.3 preview one go ahead and hit install all right and to confirm that it worked go to your settings about and updates and it should be right there under currently active shaders patch version 0.2.3 preview one and now on to the last step is our SPR settings now if you guys want to set your weather the way you guys want by all means but the reason why I get this is because everything is set for me for daytime nighttime rain um, everything is all there for you so you guys don't have to set it up all right once you guys are here hit download and it should show up on the top right Open up file location, minimize this, open that up. Once you guys are here, you guys are gonna go into mods, right click, extract to a specified folder. And just like we did last time, find your uh, Aceto Corsa root folder. And once you guys are done with that, go back a page, open up the installation guide, and these are the two links that you guys are going to click on. So when you click this, 
open up content manager. These are uh, custom shaders patch settings. So this will make your graphic look just like mine's without having to change anything. Apply and save, open this back up, go back a page and onto the second one. All right, open content manager and it should show up right here, apply and save. So you installed content manager, custom shaders patch, the pure mod and the preview. Next thing you want to do is go to your content manager, go to settings, Acetyl Corsa and video. If you come to the right side here, you'll see overall quality, glare quality and depth of field set to maximum due to the presets that we downloaded. Now, if your graphics card is a high end graphics card, I would leave it on maximum or if you want to play it safe, put it on very high or high. For me, I have it on high. Uh, if your graphics card isn't that great, uh, put everything on either low or medium. Um, and see how the game works. If it's too high, your game can be a bit laggy. Um, just come back in here, set it uh, a notch down, and you should be good to go. Once you're done with this, go to drive. Make sure to set the weather to pure. If it's not on pure, you will not be able to change the weather in game. Let's go see how it looks. And there you have it, pure on a Seto Corsa. There's two things I want to show you which is if you go to all apps, you will have pure planner and pure config. If you guys got the SPR uh, presets, I would not mess with uh, pure config. Um, but if you guys didn't get the presets, you can set up the weather the way you guys want in here. If you go to all apps, pure planner, this is where you can change the weather. For example, storm, uh, cloudy, rain, whatever you guys wish. And that is the end of my video on how to get pure on the Seto Corsa. If you guys have any issues or any errors that popped up uh, during the process, please let me know in the comment section and I'll respond as soon as I can. Um, I really appreciate you guys checking me out. This is my first how-to video. Hopefully it's not too bad. I really appreciate you guys. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Peace.